The following is a production of Learfield Sports. Well, after a two-week break for the holidays, the Wisconsin Badgers returned to practice last Tuesday and played an exhibition game Friday here at the Kohl Center, beat Trinity Western 1-0 on Patrick Sexton's third period goal. This weekend, Wisconsin resumes regular season play against the Ohio State Buckeyes. I'm Brian Posick, the voice of Wisconsin hockey, and head coach Mike Eves joins us next on the Badger Hockey Digest. The Badger Hockey Digest is brought to you by Charter Communications. Well, Mike, the first half of the season, you go 4-7-5. and five. Could have won uh, quite a few more games, but you were in virtually every single game, which I would assume gives your team confidence going into the second half. It really does, it being a young group. And, uh, you know, there's only two games we figured in the first half that uh, we were out of, and that was BC and, and Denver here at home. But everything else, we were... We had an opportunity to win those games. So with a young group, freshman goalie, I think there was some real good signs. And I think once the break was done and we were out on the recruiting trail, we were talking to people that have seen our team play in the beginning and at the end and really like the direction that we're going. So we feel that from the inside out, but to hear that from other hockey people is good to hear. Yeah, we've talked a lot about the pace of play. You have an increased pace of play, more skill too. We're seeing that offensively, and I know you're pleased with that. The back end, defensively shoring up things in the back end certainly would bode well for the end of the season as well. Well, I think it's it's uh, the play away from the puck. When you say defense, it's not the, just the defenseman, it's our play away from the puck. And, uh, and, then, and that's always an area that takes time. You just need repetitions. You need repetitions in games. You need to learn your lessons, and again, uh, we are pleased in, in the direction that we're going there. We just have to uh, honker down a little bit uh, and take care of a few more details, and I think we're going to find ourselves with a few more W's in the left-hand column. Yeah, and we saw in the final game at Michigan State on December 12th, you shut out the Spartans three to nothing. You played well in all three zones in that game, didn't you? We did. We did a lot of really good things, and it was a nice way to culminate the first half. And uh, we had uh, we were disappointed with the night before. We were up three one, lost four three. And uh, we had a little meeting after the game, and the guys were great. They were uh, honest with each other, and uh, and they came back the next day and responded like you hoped they would. So, I, again, we like the way this yeah. the direction this team is going, both with its leadership and its play on the ice. Yep. And a handful of times in the first half of the season, the Badgers had two, three goal leads weren't able to hold on to them and didn't result in victories. I talked with senior co-captain and defenseman Eddie Whitko about learning each other as a young team and learning how to win. I think I've seen that every year on my team, on teams that I've been on here, especially, I mean, maybe we figure out a little quicker when we were a little bit more of a veteran team my first couple of years, but um, obviously this year we're very young again, so it, it takes a little more time and we've been patient, but I think uh, we've, we're finally really figuring that out and obviously we, we still got to prove that, but um, we're excited to get back playing. Again. I mean, nobody's really taken charge of the Big Ten yet. Obviously, there haven't been many Big Ten games played, so you can't really take charge this early. But, um, yeah, I definitely say anyway, it's, it's for anyone to go and grab. And, and uh, what Coach said, all coaches said when they're on their uh, scouting trips over break, they're like, there's a little bit of buzz about us going around. It's very cool to see, but we got to stay stay grounded and really keep working because, you know, a team like us can scare teams coming in with, with our young talent. And, just kind of uh, the, the momentum we have gained from uh, just maybe even games that we've lost, but we, we've hung in there and known that we can play with these teams. So Eddie talked about, you know, it, it takes time for a young team to come together. You've played 16 games already. Hopefully that bond has occurred, and now you can make some noise in the Big Ten, which Eddie Whitko says is wide open. Well, it, being so young, we've got eight young guys that are freshmen, and uh, you know, Brian, when kids go away after after the first half of the season, they come back. They're no longer true freshmen. They come back and they, they understand what's coming at them. They understand the school. Mm -hmm. They have a better understanding of how to balance the social life with everything that else that's going on. So they, they come back and they, they'll be better. Uh, there's no question. And you now we only played two or four games in the Big Ten. Now we get into the meat of the schedule. and. And uh, we want to bang the drum a little bit here and make some noise. And we still have to do our part. But we feel, again, because of the direction that we're going, if we can you know, pick up quickly where we left off, that uh, we can make some noise. Yep. Badgers played 10 of their next 12 games here at the Cole Center. Ohio State's in town this weekend. More on the Buckeyes coming up in just a moment. Game night. That magical weekly gathering where lands are conquered. And you get trapped in the dungeon that is your bedroom. But you've got blazing fast spectrum internet 
So Kevin and his friends have enough bandwidth to play together, and you have enough left over to find a new apartment. Get 60 megabits of dragon slaying speed with Spectrum Internet. Where will it take you? This is Andrew Zielsdorf. He plays hockey. This is leukemia. It's bad business. This is Andrew's oncology team. They love Andrew. They don't like leukemia. And thanks to them, Andrew is now cancer free. Booyah. They are the world renowned physicians, scientists, and nurses at the American Family Children's Hospital. Pioneers in pediatric cancer care. UW Health. Remarkable. Well, Mike, I know you concern yourself more about your team than the opposition, but Ohio State comes to town with a 5-11 and record, 1-5 in, in games decided by one goal or less. And lo and behold, last week at the Florida College Classic, they upset Boston College, ranked fourth in the country, 3-2, and then blow out ninth-ranked Cornell, 8 to nothing. Very impressive. Well, we got a chance to watch both those games, and, and even we watched the uh, two games that were in Minneapolis to draw a big sheet against the Gophers, and both those games, uh, they lost in overtime, so they, they pushed the Gophers uh, into the overtime period, and well, they're, they're a very opportunistic team. They, they get up and down the ice well, and, and if you're sloppy with the puck and you make it easy for them, uh, they can take advantage of that. And the young goaltender, we, we know we've seen him here. This is the third year we've seen him, and he's come in here and stole a game or two uh, when we've played very well. So I think we have to uh, continue to play the way we've been playing. If we play with detail and work hard and take care of the puck, uh, we, we, can, uh, we can give ourselves the best chance of being successful. Yeah, Christian Fry is the Buckeyes goaltender, a good one. All freshman team in the Big Ten a couple of years ago. They do have a lot of team speed, too. And you're familiar with Steve Rollick yeah. and now his associate head coach, Mark Strobel, a couple of former Badgers. Yeah, they like to uh, like to stretch it out when they're going to get control of the puck. They like to fly the zone and stretch you out a little bit. So, again, it's all part of us knowing and what they're trying to do and taking care of the puck and not let them do those things and have them play in their own zone. Yeah, it'll be nice, too, that the boys can be at home here for yeah. the next several weeks, right? No, it's great. I mean, we've got this game here, so we'll, we'll be at home, and then we go away for a week, and then when school comes back, we're, we're back here again, yeah. and that'll be really fun for the kids. I think, uh, you know, with football being done and it, it's cold outside, I think uh, it'll really feel like hockey. Yep. All right. Good luck. Thanks, Brian. Sure, that's Badgers head coach Mike Eves. Wisconsin and Ohio State Friday and Saturday. Both games start at 7.05, and both will be live on the Badgers Sports Network. For Mike Eves, I'm Brian Posick. Thanks for watching the Badger Hockey Digest. Thank you.